Today on our 2017 Ford Edge, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Kurt Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C12140. So this is what our hitch looks like fully installed. It's nice and tucked up right to the bumper, and you're going to see the cross tube, and it's going to have your receiver right there. The hitch has a reinforced one and a quarter by one and a quarter collar on the receiver tube, and it's going to use a standard half inch pin and clip, which is included, which is great because you're not going to have to worry about buying anything extra. Now, as far as your safety chains go, it's going to use a welded on plate style. And as you can see, there's still plenty of room to get even larger hooks on and off. Now, this hitch has a 350 pound tongue weight capacity, which is going to be the force pushing down. It also has a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. But you always want to double check with your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can handle that. Now, the manufacturer does recommend using a stabilization strap when towing non-trailer loads. And you can pick one of those up on our website using part number 18050. Now I'm gonna give you a few measurements that are gonna help you out when deciding on an accessories for your hitch, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube is 13 inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the most outer edge of the bumper, is five inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how we get it installed. To begin our installation, we're gonna to have to remove the two panels underneath. You're gonna have two five and a half millimeter bolts underneath. And then towards the inside, you're gonna have two 10 millimeter bolts right here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. And we're gonna set these aside for safekeeping for right now. Now that we have those two panels removed, we're gonna be removing the lower fascia right here. And there's six five and a half millimeter bolts going across the bottom, as well as right here in the center, if you go up underneath, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. And we're gonna set this aside for safekeeping as well. Our next step is gonna be lowering our exhaust down. Now, to prevent, from, to prevent from any damage, I'm gonna be using a strap to hold up the exhaust after we lower it. Now, behind each exhaust tip, you're gonna have your rubber, isol your rubber exhaust hanger, and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of lubricant to help get them off. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the hangers from the exhaust. Now, if you don't have an exhaust hanger remover, you can use a pry bar, flathead screwdriver, or even your hands, just anything to push this rubber to allow this muffler to come out of there. Now we can start to begin to put in our hardware. Now we're gonna be using the two round holes at the bottom of our frame. Take our fish wire, and with the coiled end, we're gonna insert it into the farthest forward hole, and we're gonna work our way towards the back of the bumper. Now this is gonna be extremely hard to see, but if you look up right above where the exhaust cutout is, and you come up and back towards the back of the bumper here, there's a channel, and that coiled end of the wire is going to come out of that channel. Now I'm going to pull it down here and I'm just going to put a little kink in it. That way I don't lose my wire. Next, we're going to slide over a block, our spacer block, onto the wire and we're going to thread our carriage bolt onto the end of the coil. Now we're going to take our block and our carriage bolt and we're going to feed them back up into that channel And once we have our block and carriage bolt through the channel, we're gonna fish it down into our hole just like that. And we're gonna leave our fish wire attached to our bolts for right now. And we're gonna repeat that same process for the remaining one on this side 
as well as the two other on the passenger side. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna go ahead and put our hitch in place. Now you wanna make sure you put the wires in the corresponding hole on the hitch. And we lift our hitch into place. We remove one of the fish wires. And then we install our lock nut. Once we have one on each side so the hitch can hang and support itself, we're gonna go with the rest of our hardware installed. Now with our hitch loosely installed, we're gonna come back and make sure that everything's centered up and make any adjustments that we may need. Now with our hitch lined up, we can go ahead and snug down our hardware. And I'm gonna be using a three quarter inch socket. Now with all of our hardware snugged down, we're gonna go ahead and come back and torque it down to the specified amount in the instructions. Now with our hitch in place and torqued down, I wanna talk about the trim panels that we removed earlier. The center section that we took out right here, to reinstall it will need to be trimmed. And on each end, if you just look right here, you make a vertical line coming down right past the mounting hole, and then just come over and come down to the edge, and the shaded section will be the part you're gonna cut out. And the same thing on the other side. Now, we're not gonna cut this out, but just to show you if you do want to reinstall this. Now, when it comes to the rear panels underneath on each side, as you can see with the hitch being here, we're not gonna be able to mount it without some trimming. So the way we're gonna trim that is if you come down right here at the curve, just right past the curve, you come down with a vertical line to just a little bit over the other mounting hole on the bottom and come straight across. And this whole section right here is gonna be cut out and you'll have your single mounting point here with the 10 millimeter and the two outside ones. And the other side is gonna be cut the same way. Now, since we're not gonna be cutting or reinstalling the panels, our last step is gonna be reinstalling our exhaust. And that'll finish up our look at the Curt Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C12140 on our 2017 Ford Edge. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.